All right, I'm back here with you. Um, so right now I'm just continued where we left off before. I'm opened the part up here for editing. I uh, just want to walk you through what some of this stuff is. And right now we're editing the component DTO4-08PA. Um, this is your component screen, the sheet size that's on here. This is just kind of your workspace of where everything are. Um, we'll get into a little bit of what each one of these are, but these are um, essentially views which comprise of symbols and some other information to them. And this is a block. You can kind of see if I zoom in here. Um, you have a little schematic symbol on here. We have a how the symbol would be used on a block. Um, and then we have different views. We have a, an actual image view. Um, side views, top views, pin views, uh, sometimes there's connector insertion views, um, and there's also a little table down here, um, and I'll explain what each one of these things are. But a component um, consists of several things. If, if you want to think of it as a shell, um, I'm going to go into the component properties here. Um, I'm going to move this over to this screen. Hopefully this is getting captured here. I'll have to double check the video. But these component properties here, all of these attributes that are in here is information attached to the component itself. Um, and when you want to think of a component, you think of it as something that's typically purchased and it cannot be changed um, within your project once you start using it. So things like part numbers don't change, um, you know, the gender of this connector can't change um, and you can kind of get into everything else. This device letter code, um, this is what the default prefix will be when you drop this component into your project. It'll start adding with this prefix and put a number after it so it'll be J1, J2, J3 and so on. Um, this preview symbol, this is the actual symbol that we saw when I clicked on it and it showed the little preview down in the preview window. Um, that's what that does. We'll get into creating symbols in a little bit. But I just want to introduce to you guys what these attributes are. Um, and there's different ones that we use for different components. Um, probably one important one that's on here is the class. Um, this main class that's on here is the first folder structure. At least how we have our database set up, it pulls in off of class. Um, everything that has this text in it will drop into that folder. Um, it makes it real nice and quick and easy to be able to uh, look for your parts and um, you can then put more folders in place using different attributes. Um, the next thing we'll get into is the pins. Um, you can see for this particular connector it has eight pins defined and you can click on each pin in here. Um, these fields that go down here uh, will tell you what are some of the valid pins or terminals that can go into this particular connector. So this one has six different flavors of pins that can actually get dropped into here. Um, don't think of, of this as strictly pins. It can be a socket. Um, maybe a better way to think about it is a cavity. Okay. And then there's also these uh, valid mating connectors that you can do. Um, these are connectors that actually would mate to this guy. So if we have a female, it might be the male version of this. You know, um, I'll explain some of this other stuff later. This active mating connector is kind of like the default mating connector. Uh, this fitting part is kind of like the default pin terminal that you can put on here. Uh, these other two tabs we aren't going to worry about at the moment um, and some of these other attributes we aren't going to worry about at the moment. So uh, another spot if you right click and you go to pin assignment. Let's see if I drag this over here. This is where um, you can add and subtract pins. So you can right click on a row, you can insert pins, you can delete pins, um, you can move them around. For the most part, you're going to have a number um, pin for pin. You do get connectors that have letters. Um, index is always going to be automatically numbered for you. It's grayed out, meaning you cannot change it. 
Um, and so if you had a connector that went ABC, you would just highlight this and change this to the letter A and go down. Um, and then you can actually save it. But this is where it actually will get your pin count as far as your connector goes. All right. So that's kind of how we set up um, a connector. Um, as you create different parts in the database, um, that will you will have different attributes that apply. Um, you'll have some with, with and without pins and cavities and so forth in it. Um, but right now I'm just trying to, to walk you through some of the different screens and what these mean. Uh, it, it gets a little bit hard when you're trying to start from scratch so in the next tutorial I'm going to kind of open up some symbols on here and kind of show how all this stuff relates um, in here. So we'll see you in the next tutorial.